we fix things up a little bit better now. Okay, I'll show you all this afterwards. But basically, we've got it working. And what I'm going to show you is it moving. All right, you ready? Here goes nothing. Ooh, let me just straighten the steering and then we can go. And off we go. As you can see, I'm holding three things at once here steering wheel, camera, and I don't know what's built. Is it showing speed? I don't think it is. It might be. There we go. Let's see? Going on electrics. And it's crossing over a road here. Just want to make sure that nobody. I have to do it by on and off. Because. Uh, and it's doing that thing. I think what happens is the relay itself is uh, chattering. Okay. I don't know if the I don't think the speedo is actually registering correctly. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. I'm just trying to get the distance. I've already done this run once. Right now I'm going to manoeuvre around, which I'm going to have to do one-handed again. Just turn. Put my reverse in now. Unfortunately, I've got no rear suspension to speak of. The, spring, the springs are in. That's better. The springs are in, but there's no shock absorbers. Right. Now, what I'm going to try and do is get a quick go at the back end. There we go. I don't know if you can see anything working. But it's going. Right, it feels like the battery's waning a little bit, but I don't know. So this is the second run. We're probably attaining about 10 miles an hour. making a right weird noise and I don't know if it's because the battery itself it might be because of the uh, stuff working on 12 volts uh -huh. let's see if we can get it in there we go and there we go and it goes and there we go <laughs> right I'll show you it now Let's just see. Alright, okay. <coughs> so, what we've got. I can just open up and then you can see what's going on. Because this is what actually worked. There we go. Let's get the light into it so you can see it. Okay, so we've got the two batteries in there. You can see it from the back. See, there's two batteries basically. It's running off two batteries. Okay. Then I've got a. This is a forward reverse circuit, it's the thing you can hear clacking because it's got two relays for either direction and you pulse one on for one direction, pulse the other for the other. Okay. And uh, it's just these two batteries. One of them, I think it's that one, is powering the relay coils because they run on 12 volts and the two batteries together power the motor at 24 volts. Although uh, it's a 44 volt motor so it's not working at full power. But that went roughly at about the same speed as the original milk float, which is a bit strange. So, yeah, it's running. And obviously you saw it. Well, you saw me driving it, trying to drive it with one hand. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. I thought I'd get it out. I've put uh, extended the cables to bring them up. And I've screwed down the, uh, the, uh, the relay box so that we can get the, uh, uh, you know, so it can slide around and it's a bit more in place. And eventually I'm going to put a Prius battery there, which is the guy over there. That one there. It's got all the tools under it. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put that on. And that's the reason why I fastened these down on this side, so I can put the Prius battery over there, you see. Oh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Prius battery is going to go on this side here. And that's why I put the relays there, because then that means I can easily work on the electronics. So the next stage now is to uh, make a proportional controller so that we can, uh, so we're not clanking and stuff, which isn't helping neither the motor nor the back diff, because it's being given some stuff. So, but, yeah. Oh, and I found the, uh, uh, there's the alternator lead, which is down there, 
which is the plus 12 volts to the fuse box which means I just need to wire that up to 12 volts that in the chassis and then I get everything working in the uh, or you know the original electrics working but it's working it's good cool isn't it I tell you what what I can do because this is a uh, <laughs> pedestrian controlled vehicle of such here we go see watch there you go <laughs> that's funny and you can you can see the wheel spin as well watch the wheel spin I don't know if it's this side or both yeah there you go <laughs> a little bit of wheel spin because of the torque so it's like you're snapping the clutch up basically anyway very pleased with that but we need to work on the controllers now because uh, this is too rugged and we need the battery and also we need the HV charger.